This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of January 7th, 2017. Two personal challenges are making the rounds of social media as the year begins that are absolutely fitting for Saturn and Capricorn and also for the energies of this week. One of them is a decluttering challenge. The suggestion is that during the year 2018, you remove 2,018 items from your home. A Capricorn friend of mine who is doing this at his wife's suggestion says this works out to five and a half items a day. The other one is not buying clothes, cosmetics, anything other than the absolute staples needed to run your life. That kind of impulse has been awakened in each of us, whether you go to the extreme of sticking with it all year, although if you start, you might be surprised at how long you stay with it. But we're all doing something similar on a personal level. And this week, in particular, we are getting very clear about something that is personally extremely important to us. And it has a lot to do with the emotional experiences of December 25th. For some of us, Christmas Day. Whatever was going on in our hearts at that time comes back around in a huge and personal way on January 9, which is one of the powerhouse days of the month, Venus and the Sun are meeting with Pluto in Capricorn. Our relationships, our values, our attitude about money, our desires, our sense of ourselves are meeting with the most purifying, streamlining, and regenerative force in the cosmos. We are all sculptors in some way now, And we have been for a few weeks, but now we really get to work in earnest. Think of how a sculptor works. Takes a block of stone, let's just say marble, thinks about what it wants to create, puts a chisel to the marble, and then reveals the image within the stone. By chiseling away, causes the image that was in the artist's mind to take physical form. Something in your life is that block of marble. To an extent, you are that block of marble. You're working on your own this week. Cosmic hands are working on you this week. And there are opportunities on either side of the ninth for your own motivation and drive to get going on this and for your will to do your heart's bidding in some way. The opportunities are doorways that open before you. You are not pulled through the doorways. You must recognize the doorway and step through it. Information, messages, thoughts, communications very quickly come that flesh out the process, that give practical guidance or information or steps that would be useful to take Mercury, the planet that rules communication, moves into the sign of Capricorn, where this giant chiseling party is underway. On the 11th, finally puts to rest everything that was going on during its retrograde in December, and now goes into salt of the earth, practical, concrete form. So we'll be gathering a lot of data about our sculpting projects, We'll be gathering a lot of data about the streamlining and simplifying going on in our own lives, and our conversations are going to just basically turn to the practical. So we're coming up with a plan, we're starting to execute the plan, we get a bunch of information about the plan, and then something makes the chisel slip. Something changes in the sculpting process. As we get into the weekend, Venus and then the Sun both make a hard or demanding aspect to the other change agent. They're meeting with them both this week. First, the agent of unavoidable natural forces, and secondly, the agent of radical, unpredictable change. Uranus, the guy with the lightning bolts. The advocate of Alternate viewpoints, the cosmic rebel, instigator, rabble-rouser, rogue, anarchist, 
genius. Something will break loose, something will break free, possibly in your thinking, possibly a constraint that has been molding a desire of yours or making it slow or putting parameters around it that maybe you didn't want or holding it just barely outside your reach. Something shifts really radically over the weekend and it's ultimately really good. Do not fear this. So what it all boils down to is a very interesting process of deciding what we want, really getting down to the absolute basics of what we want, starting to make a plan, and then letting go of the how. So we're getting really clear on the what and got a big surprise coming in the how it plays out. The homing thought of the week, simplify. The song of the week, a whole new world from Aladdin. And the image of the week is something that actually happened to me. I was visiting a Capricorn friend. We talked about what we wanted to do for the day. He actually wrote down a list, and then he looked up all the addresses and mapped it and wrote it on a piece of paper. And when we went to our very first stop, a gust of wind took the piece of paper and blew it away. The image is making the list and then unseen hands removing it from you. You will find lots more information about all of this in many, many, many resources on my site. My forecast for January, which is available on the top page of empowermentunlimited.net. My forecast for each of the signs for the year of 2018, which was published by InStyle Magazine. Yes, woohoo. Go to the articles page under Astro Insight for that. And in my talk about the 2017 solstice and 2018 preview, which is available under the classes tab. Again, my site is empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my mailing list. And if you do, you will get my Jupiter in Scorpio guide as a thank you and book a session with me. Talk to you next week.